with cherry poppins. Okay, so things is moving forward with the chariot. Somebody could be moving on or you could be just moving on from a situation after going through a lot and gaining the truth. Yeah, the star. You're somebody that's a healer. Somebody that was meant to lead. You could be somebody that's like a teacher and you attract a lot of attention. You could be some type of Figure. You, you could be some type of um, person that's like over the internet giving motivational speeches or encouraging people through memes or different things of that sort. Short videos. Could be somebody that, you know, is on YouTube. With the star card. But you're somebody that, you know, pours out love to a lot of people with words. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Okay, so somebody. Seven of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, and then the Lovers in the Reverse. So somebody was being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes with you. They were trying to steal something from you. It could have been, you know, those gifts that you, you know, use as you are healing people or helping people, giving advice to people and having people look up to you. People wanted those. Someone wanted those gifts and they were trying to strategize on how to try to take them or, you know, to try to clone them. With this lovers in the reverse, it could have been like a could have been a family member. Could have been one of you, you know, closest friends, or it could have been somebody that you were in a relationship with, with this lovers in the reverse. Um, they didn't have love for you. They didn't want you to have love for whoever you, you know, was in love with. So they, they were at the seven of swords being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes, trying to get some type of gift that you were given or was supposed to get with this ace of pentacles. And they didn't want you to partner up and, you know, the lovers in the reverse. They didn't want you to be with anyone that was in love with you. And they didn't want you to be in love with that person. They wanted to steal something. So they could have stole something from you. And they could have stole something from that person. That they didn't want you to um, partner up with or connect with. All because they wanted to steal your gifts. Gifts that God have given you. And you're using those gifts as you, you know, started healing and you, you know what you are called here, you know, something here to do with the star card. You help people get woke spiritually. Two of wands and nine of cups. So this person that was at the seven of swords, they were, you know, sitting back planning at a two of wands. For you to be waiting or at a stalemate. They didn't want you to use your gifts. They thought that you would be at a stalemate, you know, not knowing which way to go, not being able to make a proper decision. And um, they were sitting at the nine of cups, like overindulging in toxic patterns. With their arms folded, feet kicked up, they had wish fulfillment doing this. And they were also playing with witchcraft, casting spells over you. Because they didn't want you to get, you know, they didn't want anyone to love you. And they didn't want whoever you were in love with for you to love them. So they figured that they would play with this nine of cups energy, these blood rituals. To have both of y'all at the two of wands, not knowing which way to go. Not being able to make a proper decision on, you know, love and overall on life. And especially using your gifts that they were trying to steal. That God had given you. Ace of Pentacles and Seven of Swords. Yes, Ace of Wands. They wanted your new beginning at the Ace of Wands. They wanted whatever venture that God had, you know, set out for you to take in life. They wanted that. And they thought they would manifest that with, you know, playing with this Nine of Cups energy. Blood rituals, black magic, voodoo, witchcraft. And they will sit back with their arms folded and feet kicked up and they will be you. 
Yeah, temperance. Balance is here, though. They want it to be your. This is your energy, like the temperance energy, like an angel. They want it to look like that. They want it to be like that. They want it to be a star. And they thought that they would play in your energy, use your gifts or try to steal your gifts to have this new beginning at the Ace of Wands. But this is a person that don't love people. They don't even love they self with this lovers in the reverse. And that's why they didn't want you to be in love with nobody. And they didn't want whoever was in love with you to be in love with you. They thought that you guys would be at a two of wands, at a stalemate, not knowing which way to go or not being able to make a proper decision in life. As you know, magic was being played over both of y'all behind the scenes. But overall, this, um, this person that they didn't want to connect with you, they look at you as wish fulfillment. Nine of cups. And they want to balance something out with you. With this temperance card. Yeah, justice. It was something that happened behind the scenes that was injustice. And you deserve, you know, justice. The situation will be balanced out because this person that was at the Seven of Swords. That wanted to steal something from you. And didn't want you to be in love with the person that you were your soulmate who you were supposed to be in love with. They took you out through a lot of trauma behind the scenes doing it sneaky and deceptive at the seven of swords because they were trying to steal stuff steal things gifts money whatever gifts that they felt like god was going to give you they would sit back behind the scenes and try to plot and scheme on how to steal them so they can sit back with their arms folded and feet kicked up but whatever they thought that they were going to get they they cannot have they cannot get because you've been moved on with the chariot you're still a healer. The star card is here. This person is standing at a two of wands not knowing which way to go. And they can't find anyone to be in love with them. Everything that they wanted you to go through, they're going through. And they're watching you move forward in life. Justice is here and the situation will be balanced out. Yeah, this person is toxic. The devil. They're binded to bad habits, obsessions, drug addictions, sex addictions. And they wanted to try to transfer that energy off into you. And then they walk around in your energy. But in a sneaky, deceptive way. So they could have thought that they were going to swap your fortune. Leave you in their five of pentacles. And then they walk off to your, you know, generational wealth. Your good luck. Yeah, knight of cups in the reverse. They didn't want you to connect with someone. You know, it could have been this person with the lovers in the reverse. Your soulmate. They didn't want you to connect with this person. They didn't want this person to show you any love. They didn't want this person to, you know, be around you at all with the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, the Hermit. They wanted this person to ghost you. This person could have ghosted you in the past. And you didn't know why this person ghosted you. And then it was a secret. The moon is here. There was a lot of stuff that was hidden. A lot of stuff that was done in secret and in, in, in the dark. And it was magic and trickery being played over, you know, two people so they wouldn't be in love. So they wouldn't connect the lovers in the reverse and then Knight of Cups in the reverse. This, this sneaky and deceptive person behind the scenes did not want, you know, you all to connect. Because they were obsessed, binded to bad habits, drug addictions, and worse. And they thought that they would steal something from you. And run off with your new beginning that God was giving you. Because they could have got a reading. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. They had people working with them behind the scenes. So they could have gotten readings. Um, this is somebody that was trying to keep you from a soulmate. Yeah, King of Swords is here. They could have had somebody that was in the justice system watching you. Like a police officer. Because Three of Pentacles and King of Swords... They could have had a police officer building with them behind the scenes watching you, trying to gather up evidence and um, on something that wasn't true. So whatever was told to this King of Swords, this investigator, police officer, or somebody that works in the justice system, it wasn't true. They were at the Seven of Swords being sneaky with this person that's in the justice system because they knew this person was, you know, somebody that speaks the truth and cut off things that no longer serve. Yeah, Six of Pentacles is here. Equal give and take. 
Yeah, this person, this uh, whoever that they were working with behind the scenes or they lied and had watching you, they see you as somebody being equal. Somebody that's always giving. You're loving, you're caring, you're forgiving. So they were confused at the Seven of Cups. As illusions and confusions was placed on this, you know, person. Yeah, and overall, they were left in regret at the Five of Cups when they found out the truth. That the person that they thought that they were, you know, building with behind the scenes had lied to them. They were being sneaky and deceptive with them. And they were trying to confuse them and cast confusion spells around them to blind them from the truth. And they were overall in regret. They were embarrassed and ashamed because this is somebody that's in the justice system that serves justice. That serves balance. You know, that wants balance. So they were overall in regret when they found out they were being lied to. This could have been a family member, you know, that got them to start watching you and stalking you off of a lie. And they realized that their own family member, somebody that they was close to, had went that far to lie on somebody that they don't know. All because they were, you know, a third party of a person that's your soulmate. And they knew of you, but you don't know of them. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. They could have been working with a mother as well. With this Queen of Pentacles. Or this could be this person's wife. Or it could be their mother. Yeah, the Hangman and Ten of Wands. This person, mother, uh, wanted you to be stuck. This either, take it where it resonates, somebody's wife or mother. Your soulmates, karmics, could have been their wife and their mother, wanted you to be stuck in a situation, in a hangman position. Have a lot of weight on you, feeling burdened, feeling pressure. And you don't even know these people behind the scenes, but they have gotten readings and they know that you are, you know, supposed to be with your twin or your soulmate. And this mother figure probably felt like that they couldn't control you. So they would sit back behind the scenes and try to do stuff to make you look bad or keep you stuck or have you bound to something that you didn't do. Just to try to keep you away from a person that you were supposed to be, you know, meet and supposed to be with, fated to, you know, be with. A person that was a part of your destiny. So they thought they would have you wrapped up in the justice system with this hangman position. And then you will have all this weight, all this stuff in your face you can't see and a lot of stuff on your back you can't weigh. And this police officer or, you know, detective was overall in regret at the Five of Cups. Because they didn't know these people would lie. They didn't know these people were being sneaky, being dishonest. And they, you know, also didn't know they didn't believe in God. They were in regret and didn't even want to be around them. Yeah, Three of Cups in the reverse. They don't want to reconnect with them. They don't want to, you know, if this was a friend of theirs, they don't want anything to do with them anymore. They look at them as being jealous, envious, and mad of a person that they don't know. Yeah, five of wands. They could have sat back and started watching you, and they didn't see anything but this balanced energy, this angelic energy, this healing energy, and then they started watching them. And all they seen was conflict, fights, arguments, drama. And them sitting back in competition secretly, watching you, doing everything that you do. And looked at as robots. And they didn't even know this. They flipped the, whatever they thought that they were doing, sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes to you, it flipped on them. So they tried to, you know, start stalking you, watching you obsessively, where you didn't have no privacy, following you around. They were being followed too. So it immediately backfired on them. And they had to conflict with their self at the Five of Wands. Yeah, Eight of Cups. This person looked at them as somebody that's, you know, toxic. They don't view life the same as, you know, other people. They look at them as people that are in a confused mindset. And this police officer, whoever they try, or investigator that they try to, you know, manipulate, they, they look at them as somebody that's in a confused mindset. And they walked away from them, look, you know, look at them as being toxic, eight of cups. Yeah, strength is here. 
you've overall grown from out this this is how this person look at you this uh person that's in the justice system this king of swords somebody that has growth no matter what they did behind the scenes to you know try to make you look bad thinking that they were going to steal something from you you outgrew everything it just made you grow it made you stronger and this person noticed that you had already been through a lot. And they had the nerve to sit behind the scenes and try to cast confusion on other people when they don't even know you. They just thought that they could control the person that was supposed to be with you. Try to cast conflict amongst you two. And this mother figure thought that they would sit back and... Stay, keep this person, you know, under control by keeping them or wanting them to be with who they wanted them to be with, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, they wanted them to be with who they wanted them to be with and, you know, figure that they have control over both of them. But this mother figure don't know that this person, whoever this person is that they clicked up with behind the scenes, had their own people working behind the scenes against this person and this mother figure. Yeah, Nine of Swords. Could have been to keep this mother figure, you know, at the... Dark Knight of the Soul, I would say. This mother figure was is sitting back in a mental prison in their head. They going through a lot of slander, gossip, sleepless nights. And they getting exposed for everything they did. Like, everything they did in a sneaky, deceptive way, they're getting exposed. Yeah, high priestess. This mother figure could have went to a practitioner and made it seem like they, you know, they could have went to a practitioner and had a practitioner doing bogus work. And a practitioner, you know, I can't say the practitioner didn't know that these people were lying because if you were a real practitioner, then you would have knew. You know that they were lying so this had to be somebody that was like a voodoo priest you know this did work for them and they wanted you to be looked at as a mental you know somebody that was a mental patient you were mentally unstable they were trying to cover up something that they did behind the scenes you could have went to the justice system about something that happened to you and you didn't know where it was coming from and they got scared and went to a high priest a practitioner somebody that's a voodoo priest though and both started getting karma. This mother figure and everybody that was attached to this mother figure and the family and then friends, associates, and this um, voodoo priest was getting hit with karma. Yeah, knight of swords and five of pentacles. They were mad. <clears throat> Raging around, gossiping, spreading rumors, lies. Because they didn't want to be ghosted. This mother figure didn't want to be left out in the cold. So they just ran in quick and did a whole bunch of stuff behind the scenes to try to make you look bad to your the, the person that wanted to show love to you, the person that wanted to connect with you. And it just didn't work. They confused. That's what I'm feeling. It's a lot of confusion going around. So I'm hearing this mother figure set back and paid a voodoo priest to try to cast a sex, cast sex magic on you. Because they wanted you to be looked like, you know, looked like as something that you weren't. Like somebody that was a lust, you know, quick to have sex with people. Quick to just run around and do stuff without thinking it through. So they went and paid a voodoo priest to put, play some type of sex spell on you or sex magic. To have you promiscuous. Because they wanted this person to, you know, ghost you. They wanted them to leave you out in the cold. As this person did ghost you. And it was a secret of why they ghosted you. Yeah, Knight of Wands. They wanted you to be looked at as somebody that was a Knight of Wands. That quick to have sex with people. And it just didn't work. Yeah, Eight of Wands is here. 
Yeah, it didn't work. This person still want to communicate with you. King of Cups and Eight of Wands. This person still want to come quick towards you because it didn't work. It made this person want you more. They thought it would make this person be unattracted to you or look at you as something that you're not. But it made this person in love with you more. Yeah, and they hold you in high honor. Six of Wands. You get a lot of recognition in this person's eyes. They see you as somebody that attracts a lot of attention. And you overall have victory in life. You, you help people heal. You lead people in a positive way and not a negative way. You pour out love to people. You pour out balance to people with this temperance energy. To help people balance their self out. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups and Judgment. So this person, mother and whomever else, you know, groups of people could have been their fam different family members with this Ten of Cups and Judgment. They're going through a lot of karma for what they did to you secretly behind the scenes. And this is this per your soulmate's family and different associates that they hired or had building with them behind the scenes to try to make you look bad because they seen something in you that they didn't see in your in their self. And they wanted to keep your person in a toxic, low vibrational environment. They figured if this person ascend, they already see you ascending. They already have went and got readings on you. They're, they know, you know, you're moving on in life with a chariot. And they knew how this person felt about you. So they feel like they would be left behind. They will get ghosted. So they, they try to do something, try to have you be ghosted where this person wouldn't want to be around you. And this person could have, you know, just cut all off, you know, cut all off communication with you. And it was because of these family, Ten of Cups. And they're going through karma, judgment. These are people that you don't know, but this is somebody that your, your person knows. So it's like whatever they did to you, if this is the if this is your twin and y'all have the same soul, whatever they did to you behind the scenes, it happened to your twin too. If they wrapped you up in a, you know something in the justice system, that person got wrapped up in a justice system. And it was like spirit was telling them, whatever you do, come back on you tenfold. So not only did this person, they did something to you and this person got wrapped up, but everybody that was attached to this person, stuff started happening to them. Even they got wrapped up in different cases or had to pay out money going through karma and they didn't know why as they kept throwing stuff at you secret and you just minding your business and not doing anything. You don't even know these people. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles is here. They knew this person wanted to work with you and you were just sitting back working on your, your own business, working on yourself at the Eight of Pentacles. And they did all of this to you as you were sitting back minding your business. All because they see this person looked at you as wish fulfillment. Somebody that he want to balance stuff out with. Somebody that would help him heal from stuff that he went through. And they figured since they couldn't help, as he hadn't been around them their, his whole life, his own mother got jealous of the type of mother you are. The way you are with your kids because this person have never showed their kids that type of love. They seen something, as I said, in you that they didn't see in their self and they secretly took it out on you. They could have sat back and, and confided in their mother and asked their mother, what do you think about this person? And this mother started watching you and got jealous, envious, and mad and started doing voodoo on you behind the scenes. And this person thought that their mother was helping them. But as this mother was throwing stuff at you, this, th your soulmate was getting hit too with the same thing that they were throwing. It just immediately backfired. As, this, as your soulmate was attached to his mother, he was getting hit with her karma. And their family too. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. They were getting a whole bunch of tarot card readings. Yeah, they were getting a whole bunch of tarot card readings with this Page of Pentacles. They wanted, um, they could have wanted it to make it seem like you didn't have much to offer at the Page of Pentacles. So they thought they would do stuff on you behind the scenes, cast spells on you and you didn't sit back with their arms folded and feet kicked up wish fulfillment. Doing this to you and you don't even know any of this going on as you working on yourself. 
Then I have tower in the reverse. And then uh, emperor is here. Five of swords on the bottom of the deck. So with this tower in the reverse, they thought they would, you know, have you gone through crisis, destruction, damage, losses. And it went back to them. They haven't even seen the tower moments they're about to see for what they did to you secretly. All the hate and jealousy at the five of swords and wanting to sabotage you for being who you are. Being a healer, being a teacher, leading people in a positive way. And they thought they would have you at a two of wands not knowing which way to go. Being looked at as somebody that was some, a lustful energy. Just at the night of ones doing stuff without thinking it through. Or somebody that's set back confused at the seven of cups. Getting high, getting drunk, and just illusions and confusions. And it didn't work. You're somebody that's like an emperor. You have control over yourself and everything around you. You're a divine being. And you could be a person that walk in your masculine energy most of the time. Or you just, with this tempers card, you balance both out. Yeah, King of Pentacles. And then Page of Cups. So this person wants to apologize to you. This could be a father. Could be somebody that they know, or this could be the person, you know, your soulmate. They want to apologize for stuff that happened behind the scenes because they have put two and two together. Of why they were going through what they were going through. Why their family was going through karma. It was because of their mother and other people that were working behind the scenes out of hate and jealousy at the Five of Swords. Mentally unstable. Yeah, all because you know what you want out of life. And they knew that person knew what they wanted out of life. And they wanted to connect with you. But they, were, they went and paid for readings. And they found out you two were soulmates. And they figure that they can confuse you, confuse that person, cast different sex magic on both of y'all to try to have you being, you know, with somebody else or lusting after somebody else or this person, you know, your person lusting and it didn't work. This person is in love with you still. It made it worse. It made this person obsessed with you. Yeah, two of cups in the reverse. So two of cups in the reverse and page of swords. So they wanted to make it seem like that the person that they were watching, which was you, because they had been watching you over the internet, watching you um, could have, you know, lived by you close. They wanted them to think that you weren't their soulmate. Two of cups in the reverse and page of swords. Yeah, but this person's at the Four of Pentacles. They want this person to be insecure at the Four of Pentacles. Feel like that you weren't enough for this person. Or they weren't enough for you. But this person held on to you at the Four of Pentacles. This person could have just hid it in secret. They knew, but they just, you know, noticed people were at the Five of Swords and wanted to sabotage them. People that they love and they trusted. And they started moving in silence at the Four of Pentacles. Being stingy with time, money, and energy. Because they don't trust nobody anymore. A lot of people that was placed around them, they found out were wolf and sheep clothing that needed to be exposed. Yeah, and a lot of stuff backfired at the Seven of Wands. This person could have sat back and blocked you because they didn't want them to, they knew what they were doing behind the scenes. Um, they didn't want you to be, you know, in the midst of it, but they didn't know that these people were sitting back obsessively getting readings on how do you feel about this person. How do y'all feel about each other? So they thought by blocking you, keeping you a secret, that they would stop doing what they were doing. But it just made it worse because they kept getting the readings. They knew how you felt and they knew how that person felt. So it didn't do him no good or her no good to not speak the way they felt and put these people in their place and stand up and be a king of swords and cut, cut out things that no longer served them, including family members friends or whoever they have been associated with it didn't do you know it didn't do them any any good it just backfired at the seven of wands yeah and that's the truth as the source clarity this person would you realize that they were better off just speaking the truth and not caring because these people still got behind the scenes and um 
Yeah, speak the truth about being in love. Ace of Cups. This person also realized that they needed to start showing their self some love at the Ace of Cups. Because everybody around them wanted to slow them down at the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, Eight of Swords in the reverse. This person is not stuck. They thought if they would have this person stuck, they would have you stuck. Y'all both would be wrapped up in situations because a lot of stuff backfired that they wanted to, you know, place onto you to go through. It backfired on your person. It backfired on different people that were attached to them. And they didn't know where it was coming from. As the people that were attached to them were doing all type of stuff behind the scenes out of hate and jealousy. And trying to control something that they can't, they couldn't even control their self. Seven of Pentacles. And then the death card is here. Yeah, they didn't want... Okay, so if you were building on something or working on something like investing in yourself, they wanted it to come to an end. Death is here. They could have sat back and paid with this Seven of Pentacles and the death card. They invested in trying to have you actually pass away after they couldn't do stuff with you know spell work to try to take you down or do something to you to have a lot of stuff in your face or confuse you and confusion they would went as to low went low as to trying to have someone intentionally cause harm to you Yeah, but every, everything was rejected at the Four of Cups. They don't get that you're divinely protected at the Seven of Wands, and that's why a lot of stuff was backfiring. So it could have been somebody in their family that they invested in to pass away, and it just backfired, and somebody died in their family. And they didn't know why this person passed away. Yeah, Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck, it could have been a mother figure, or this mother figure is getting ready to pass away, and it's just backfiring on them. Because they sat behind the scenes and sneaky and deceptive did this. And a lot of people probably didn't believe that this person would go that far because overall they look at this person as a queen of cups. Somebody that's loving, caring, can't do no wrong. And they weren't seeing properly because this person would go to different voodoo priests to do black magic and voodoo and witchcraft over different people. Even family members. To keep them under control. To keep them under a spell. And they're, you know, investing in their own death. With the seven of pentacles and the death card. Because they it was rejected. Whatever they tried to send to you, it backfired and it was rejected at the four of cups. And now they have to deal with what they had, you know, invested in. A dead end. This queen of cups. This person's mother. Yeah, and they're not happy about that. The son in the reverse. They're not happy about that. So they could have got some information. They could have gotten some news about them being sick. And they don't want anyone to know. They don't want that to come to light with the, the son in the reverse. And they were not happy about that. This queen of cups. How people look at this person as a queen of cups, loving, caring, and they don't know this person is a voodoo priest, demonic, evil. Yeah, nine of pentacles and four of swords. This person is sick. This person went to, went so far as wanted you to be sick. They see you some somebody that mind your business, nine of pentacles, single, sufficient, abundant, boss, intuitive, you're celibate. You stand out. You can read energy. You're very abundant by yourself. And they wanted you to be sick. They sat behind the scenes and wished so much on you and it just went back on them and they're not happy. And they don't realize that they, yeah, they placed the Ten of Swords on them. They thought that they would betray you, curse and hex you, put hits out on you in the physical realm and the spiritual realm. Once they started playing with spell work, those hits didn't work. Then they went to try to throw hits out on you in the physical realm. That didn't work. They placed it on their self and different people that's attached to them. This ten of swords. Everybody that's still attached to this mother figure, 
that they look at as a queen of cups and, you know, stuff like that. They're under this ten of swords. Yeah, they were blinded at the two of swords and then the musician. They were blinded to the fact that this person played with magic. They were blinded to the fact that this person tried to blind the justice system about you. As this person that worked in the justice system was overall in regret. They could have been knowing this person for a long time and they were in regret when they found out how low this person will go to try to control a situation over one, a person that they don't know and then their son or their daughter, destiny. And they didn't even raise this person, but they wanted to control this person. Because they sat back and got readings on this person's fortune. Yeah, the, they're on their destiny. And they knew this person would be somebody that was well off. King of Wands and then the Will of Fortune. They knew this person would have a lot of confidence. They knew this person would have a lot of passion to go towards their destiny. And they kept getting read. The more and more they kept getting reads, the more and more they didn't like what they were hearing. And the more and more they cast confusion. And everything that they sent out to you on their self. Yeah, the world in the reverse. They didn't want a cycle to be completed. They knew, they knew that they were in a karmic cycle with this person. And they didn't want it to be completed. They didn't want this person to end out an old cycle with them and walk into a new cycle of abundance. Yeah, but this person is still selling away at the Six of Swords. This person is moving away and selling away from things that no longer serve purpose. No matter if this mother figure or whomever got behind the scenes trying to stop or create blockages for this person or you, they're still selling away. Yeah, and they, they look at you as their four of wands, somebody that they want to come in union with. Four of wands, six of wands and four of wands. They're sailing away so they can come in union with you. They could be at a distance right now. They know who you are to them, but they don't want other people to know. But they don't know that everybody got behind the scenes and know. But we're doing stuff in a sneaky, deceptive way. They didn't want them to know that they knew. And they were jealous of it. So this person realized that they were better off just not even keeping it a secret. Not even trying to hide it because it made them feel like they had control over this person. Control over their confidence and how they felt for you. Yeah, nine of wands. They did this over and over again. They want this person to feel battered and bruised. Abandoned. As they wanted you to feel abandoned. Yeah, three of swords. This person is in this energy. Nine of wands and three of swords. Feeling left alone like nobody don't care about them. They do the same thing over and over and over again to them. And have them depressed, heartbroken. It's like everything that they did behind the scenes made this person not even want to be around them anymore. And they wanted to try to keep this person stuck so a cycle wouldn't end out. And this person don't even want to be around them. It's like they exposed their self for being in sheep clothing. Yeah, for being unloyal, the hair finding the reverse. People that they can't look up to for advice. Their own mother, somebody that they confided in and thought that their mother would see you as somebody that's, you know, this temperance, this healing energy, somebody that's celibate, somebody that don't, you know, be at the night of one just having sex with people, somebody that don't use drugs, don't drink. You know, you take care of your business. If you got kids, you take care of your kids. This mother figure got mad, envious, started trying to compare their self to you and y'all. I don't, y'all decades apart. And they were sitting back trying to be at the five of ones and copy you, compete with you. Just psychotic and mentally unstable. Trying to compete where they cannot compare. Yeah, page of wands in the reverse and told this person do not communicate with you as if they found out something about you. And it was just all lies, rumors, gossip, and a negative gossip and slander because this person was envious, jealous, Raging around mad. Feeling insecure. Because of who you are and how you stand out. Yeah, two of pentacles. And then six of cups.
These are events that took place in the past. This mother figure been sitting back doing this for a long time. It could have been about two years with this two of pentacles. But this person knew that they were like somebody that was, I would say, a past life karmic to them. And they wanted to stay attached to this person, but they wanted to confuse this person. They didn't want this person to know that they were off into tarot. If they did, they made it seem like they were helping them. And as they sit behind the scenes thinking that this mother figure got their back and helping them, this mother figure is caught trying to cause tower moments, destruction. Have other people behind the scenes causing tower moments and destruction and try to keep this person away from you. Because they're jealous. Two of Pentacles, they want this person to always feel like they had to be balancing something out so they couldn't move forward towards you. Yeah, because you, they're, this person, they look at you as somebody that's very attractive. This mother figure could be mad about how you look. They won't, could want to look that way. And they're mad about how you look and what type of attention you attract. As other people were sitting back in that same energy. This mother figure is the type of mother that sat back and placed different stuff in the family's food for decades. And they didn't know that their mother did stuff like that. She wanted to be seen in certain lights that was not her own amongst family, friends. So if she would cook and have gatherings and people would come over her house, it was stuff placed in the food and they didn't know. And they were under spells, not knowing that this person is mentally unstable and confused. And it's like everything is coming back on this mother figure all at once. Queen of Swords, the Empress, and Ten of Pentacles. And then the Fool card. Yeah, they looked at this mother figure. This mother figure looks at you as somebody that can embody every queen in the deck. Somebody that has control over yourself and everything around you. So they felt like that they would no longer have control over this person if they come towards you. They would no longer be able to manipulate this person if they come towards you. Because you're the type of person that speaks the truth. You're very smart, queen of swords. And you cut out things that no longer serve you. So they knew that once you connect with this person, the trickery and confusion that they were going to cast on, you know, was used to cast over this person to control them, it would no longer work. And they did all of this because they knew about, you know, a Ten of Pentacles, legacies, inheritance, stuff that you guys will leave behind together. They could not leave it behind or do anything with the people that they were around because they have a lot of karmic debt. It's like immediately when they start building something, then death is here. It will come to an end. It will come to an end. So this person is overall, you know, see you as somebody that can build, they can build generational wealth with and they want to take a leap of faith towards you to, to possibly express the way they feel. This mother figure thought that they would keep this person stuck and under control as they stayed around him and they would, you know, keep control over this person. Now this person don't even look up to this mother figure for advice. Hair finding the reverse. They don't see this person as somebody that believes in God, somebody they can go to, you know, and ask about, you know, who would they marry or what do you think about this person? They expose their self in a harsh, painful way and everything that they did to you, it backfired on them. And this mother figure could be getting ready to pass away. 